filmmakers may be keeping the plot of Suicide Squad almost entirely under wraps. But that doesn't mean anyone who's unfamiliar with the titular group of supervillains has to fly completely blind when the comic book movie debuts on August 5. 2016 After all, you don't need to be an expert in comic book lore to be excited to watch Will Smith, Margot Robbie, Jared Leto and more of Hollywood's hottest stars portray some of the DC Extended Universe's biggest baddies. That's why Wonderwall.com has compiled a spoiler-free beginner's guide to the hotly anticipated action flick. Keep reading to brush up on the main members of the squad and the actors who'll bring them to life related. Margot Robbie dishes on Suicide Squad from the film set Will Smith stars in Suicide Squad as Deadshot. Most recently, the two-time Oscar nominee starred in Concussion. Focus. After Earth and Men in Black 3. Of course. He'll always be the fresh prince of Bel-Air to us. Related, the cast of Suicide Squad and more stars attend Comic-Con 2016 Deadshot. Whose real name is Floyd Lawton is a hired assassin, expert marksman and the unofficial leader of the Suicide Squad. He has no supernatural abilities and frequently comes up against Batman. It's really Will's movie in a lot of ways. Director David Ayer told Wonderwall.com when we toured the set of Suicide Squad in June 2015. I kind of built it around Deadshot and his journey. His character's journey is a fantastic way to move the audience through this world. Related, the hottest male superheroes ranked Margot Robbie stars as Harley Quinn in Suicide Squad. The Australian actress starred on Aussie Soap Neighbours from 2008 to 2011 and on the short-lived TV drama Pan Am from 2011 to 2012 before her star-making turn in The Wolf of Wall Street in 2013. She went on to headline Z for Zachariah. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot and The Legend of Tarzan and portrayed the female lead opposite Suicide Squad co-star Will Smith in Focus. Before she became Harley Quinn. Dr. Harleen Quinzel was a psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum. Where she met and fell in love with the Joker. The villainess is a gymnast and is immune to most poisons and toxins, thanks to her friendship with Poison Ivy. Who is not set to appear in Suicide Squad. She also has a codependent relationship with the Joker, it's like a compulsion, like the way an alcoholic is compelled and needs to have a drink. Margot Robbie told Wonderwall.com of Harley's relationship with Jared Leto's alter ego Joel Kinnaman stars as Rick Flagg in Suicide Squad. The Swedish actor appeared in The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Safe House. Knight of Cups and Run All Night. He also starred in the 2014 Robocop remake and headlined The Killing from 2011 to 2014. Most recently, Joel starred as Will Conway on House of Cards. Rick Flagg is Amanda Waller's right-hand man who's tasked with supervising the Suicide Squad. Though he has no superpowers. He's a military and tactical expert High Courtney stars as Captain Boomerang in Suicide Squad. The Australian actor previously starred in Jack Reacher. A Good Day to Die Hard. Divergent. Unbroken. The Water Diviner and Terminator Genesis. Captain Boomerang. Whose real name is George Digger Harkness. Is an Australian supervillain who traditionally comes up against the Flash. He's known for using boomerangs as deadly weapons and is often considered the obnoxious class clown of the Suicide Squad. Jay Hernandez stars as El Diablo in Suicide Squad. He previously starred in Crazy Slash Beautiful. The Rookie. Ladder 49. Friday Night Lights. Hostel. World Trade Center and Bad Moms. In recent years. He's appeared on a wide range of TV shows from Last Resort and Nashville to Gang Related and The Expanse. The third iteration of El Diablo. Gang member Chateau Santana. Will appear in Suicide Squad. He killed a lot of people. Including family members. And so I'm wrestling with that. Jay Hernandez told Wonderwall.com of his alter ego. Who can control fire with his mind. It's part of the reason why I refused to fight for a long time because I sort of made a vow that I would never hurt anybody and would become, or try to become, a better person and not cause harm in the ways that I did in the past. 
Add Wayla Kinney at Beige stars as Killer Croc in Suicide Squad. The English actor previously starred in Congo. Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls. The Mummy Returns. The Born Identity. Unstoppable. G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra. Thor, The Dark World. Trumbo and Concussion. But he's most remembered for his role as Mr. Echo on Lost. Killer Croc whose real name Waylon Jones, is a sideshow wrestler with a rare genetic condition that gives him a crocodile-like appearance. The cannibalistic Batman villain has superhuman strength, durability and speed and the abilities to heal quickly and regenerate lost limbs. He was tortured and abused by his childhood. Adwaila Kinyagbage told Wonderwall.com of his alter ego. His aunt used to try to scrub the scales off of him. He's always been ostracized and ridiculed for how he looks. What he's done is embrace that. Instead of saying I'm ugly. He says. I'm beautiful. Instead of going underground as if he's hiding. He says. This is my kingdom. He's kind of reversed some of his childhood abuse into allowing him to become what he is. Which is really the next threat to take over Gotham. That's really what his ultimate goal is. One of the reasons is probably because he wants power and respect but also for people to like him. And if you don't, you're going to have to if he's got power. Newcomer Karen Fukuhara stars as Katana in Suicide Squad. The martial arts champion has previously appeared on Japanese TV but is making her Hollywood debut in the star-studded film Katana, whose real name is Tetsuya Mashiro is an expert martial artist who wields a mystical sword named Soul Taker that possesses the souls of every person it's killed. Including Katana's husband Maseo. There are a few moments when I have conversations with the sword. Karen Fukuhara told Wonderwall.com of her alter ego. It's pretty much my husband in object form. So it's not weird at all for Katana. Kara Delevingne stars as Enchantress in Suicide Squad. The model actress previously appeared in Anna Karenina. The Face of an Angel. Paper Towns and Pan. Archaeologist Dr. June Moon is possessed by the powerful sorceress Enchantress, whose role in Suicide Squad is being closely guarded by director David Ayer. She leaves a large shadow across the scope of this film. He told Wonderwall.com while being intentionally vague. Added the filmmaker. Her storyline and her evolution as a character figure very importantly into this construct. Enchantress has many abilities. Including teleportation. And will share a love story with Rick Flagg. I had a scene with Cara Delevingne. And it turned into this beautiful love scene. Revealed Joel Kinnam and Adam Beach stars as Slipknot in Suicide Squad. He earned a Golden Globe nomination in 2008 for his work in Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee and starred in Flags of Our Fathers, Wind Talkers and Joe Dirt. Adam has also appeared on TV shows Big Love and Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, Slipknot, whose real name is Christopher Weiss, is a trained assassin who developed a formula for highly durable ropes, which he uses as weapons, while working at a chemical company. He'll play a lesser role in Suicide Squad. Jared Leto stars as the Joker in Suicide Squad. In 2014, the 30 Seconds to Mars frontman won an Oscar for his performance in Dallas Buyers Club. He's also starred in Lord of War. Alexander. Panic Room. Requiem for a Dream. American Psycho. Girl. Interrupted and Fight Club. He scored his first big break as an actor with the short-lived TV series My So-Called Life in 1994 The Joker is a criminal mastermind who frequently terrorizes Gotham. Batman's archenemy is also an expert chemist and shares a romantic relationship with Harley Quinn. Though he's not a member of the Suicide Squad. He'll play a role in the film Viola Davis stars as Amanda Waller in Suicide Squad. The two-time Oscar nominee won the Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series for her performance in How to Get Away with Murder in 2015. In recent years, she starred in Get On Up, Ender's Game, Prisoners, Beautiful Creatures, 
extremely loud and incredibly close. The help and eat pray love. Amanda Waller is the ruthless government agent who assembles the task force of supervillains known as the Suicide Squad. Though she has no superpowers. She is an expert in military tactics. Game theory and espionage.